everybody's out there being happy, grazing, nursing, doing their thing. And, well, I was gonna make this video, it's about black buzzards. Because this morning, I have never ever had a problem with black buzzards. I'd read about cattle ranchers and cattle farmers in the area that had had trouble with black buzzards killing uh, calves, cows, things like that. I kind of always feared it, but I've got pretty good dogs to keep everything that flies, moves, walks, ran off of the property. Well, this morning, because I had pasture stockpiled for the winter and they pretty well worked their way through it up till now and so when everything got thin i just threw all the gates open and let everybody go and get what they could get and i was feeding back feed the supplement well i got one group over the hill and one at the bottom of the hill this morning smaller group at the bottom of the hill well i go over the hill do what i gotta do go back down the hill dog follows me there's about 20 black buzzards down there around uh, not necessarily around, but in a cluster headed towards a mama sheep and her babies. <clears throat> I see it, I floor it, and I just whip in there and try to run them over, probably give a couple of them a heart attack. Uh, dog followed me, he ran the rest of them off. And so I checked everybody, counted sheep. I haven't lost any, they haven't got any of my lambs yet, which is a good thing. Um, I didn't know what to do. I had heard that there's a program where you can get a license to uh, deal with these black buzzards. So first thing I did, I called TWRA, got the number, called the number, they put me in touch with somebody over in Jackson, they'd have a game warden call me in a couple of, uh, in 24, 48 hours. And then um, I called USDA, and that lady said she'd try to find, figure out, find something out and call me back. TWRA called me. They put, gave me a number for a gentleman over in Jackson that works at USDA, and um, we went through some paperwork. He asked me a lot of questions. I answered him, and he filled out some paperwork. He's gonna email me a packet. I've gotta go through, fill that out, and pay a fee, send all that stuff to Atlanta, he said, and uh, then they'll send me back a permit to harvest 10% of the buzzards that are harassing me. When you get your permit, if you harvest any of these buzzards that are harassing you, you have to hang them upside down as an effigy and hang them high, like on a harvest store. We got a harvest store over here, some grain bins, tree limbs, whatever, because these buzzards cannot stand the sight of their own dead. So they will leave and not come back. And he said, this is good for the year or for 12 months. It renews and you renew it in April and so so on and so forth and so it's always good to have in case they come back he said once you're on their buzz on the buzzards radar you're there so i was just trying to get ahead of this and do this the legal way because i really didn't think it'd be look too good for me to be standing by a two-lane highway with 30 30 smoking turkey buzzards and as much as folks mind other folks's business nowadays that wouldn't be too long before i'm sure somebody comes out from whoever federal fish and game agents or whatever comes out and gives me a bunch of slack so but in a nutshell there is a program it only costs 100 bucks if you're a cattle farmer you can go to tennessee your far tennessee farm bureau and they can get you a permit because they have a permit you can get a sub permit but it's specifically for cattle if you're sheep and goats you're well you gotta go this route. But they're really helpful. They said if I have any trouble between now and the permit coming, or if I get the permit and I harvest some turkey buzzard or some black buzzards and hang them in effigy, if that does not work, to give them a call and they can come out and trap them. And that helps too. He said the only time, he's been doing this, as long as he's been doing this, he's only had two occasions that it didn't work and they came out and trapped the buzzards and they finally, the remaining buzzards finally just left. So it is nice to know that this program does exist and it does indeed exist. And there are people that are actually willing to help you get this problem taken care of. And so I just thought I'd share that and let other folks know in case you're having a problem with it. And you see this video, hey, you know, maybe this is who I call or, you know, but if 
you got any questions, comments, want to know anything, just put it down in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And we'll catch you later. Bye.